Here at the Two Point Foundation, we believe strongly in all aspects of patient care, from the latest medical technology, to patient health and well-being. Attention, don't feed the ghosts, they're dead. Thank you. While at all times adhering to the strictest of safety standards. Today's words of inspiration come from Anthony Naval, who says, don't be afraid of disappointment or your next dentist appointment. Welcome to Two Point Hospital. As a prospective hospital administrator with no prior experience in the job, you'll be starting work straight away. Because where better to learn medical care than in the real world where patients' lives hang in the balance? Patients will enter the hospital and check in at the reception desk first, then it's off to a GP's office for a consultation with a doctor. Now come on in, take a seat, let's have a look at you. Doctor, doctor, I think my leg's broken. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. We need to do a proper examination so we can be absolutely certain before we treat you. If you head on down to room 3B down the corridor, they'll get you sorted out. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll do that right now. Thank you, Doctor. And so the patient's journey through the hospital begins. Patients are admitted through reception. From there, they go to a GP's office. They are then sent to one of the hospital's diagnosis rooms, then back to the GP's office, then to another diagnosis room. ...to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume, because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! All messages will be filed in the inbox. You're welcome. The process repeats until the hospital works out what's actually wrong with them, and then it's off to a treatment room to administer the cure. As the administrator, you don't have to worry about who gets sent where. You do have to worry about what rooms you have and where they are. Building a room is straightforward. Mark the floor space, add the furniture. Most room furniture is purely cosmetic, however, more furniture raises the prestige level of a room, making everyone who works and is treated there happier. It's more important than you think. Assistant to marketing. Rooms can be placed. Moved around. Even copied to create new rooms, so you don't have to build them from scratch.
However, figuring out where to build the room, what size and shape to make it, add to that the cost of building it, that's not so straightforward. You have limited space and cash, so it's a balancing act. Does he know what he's doing with that thing? I'm sure he does, sir. We hired him five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? You're doing fine, sir. Hold still. What's the one thing that always consumes the majority of cash in most businesses? The staff. Doctors and nurses handle the diagnoses and the treatment. Admin staff handle the non-medical rooms. Janitors clean and maintain everything. Because there's a clear division of jobs among the staff, it's easy to see who you need to hire. For example, nurses work in the ward, doctors work in the deluxe lab. Staff sometimes come with qualifications that can be useful and you can always train them up in a new skill if you want to. My one criticism of the staff, they're a bit slow to respond to the fact that a room needs someone to run it. You can be staring at the empty room for a whole minute or two before someone actually turns up to run it, causing a real queue of patients to form outside. Sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Icons above rooms that need a member of staff, icons for qualifications, wages, it's all laid out in a very simple to read format. You just need to get used to reading it. Uh, is this machine supposed to be smoking? It's fine, sir. I'm pretty sure that if a machine is smoking, it means it's broken. You're doing fine, sir. Hold still. Hold still, he says. My arm's in a vice. Does he think I'm going to run away? Hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Does that mean it's actually not going to hurt, or is that just a platitude that doctors sometimes... Yeah! Camera controls are easy, build controls are easy. Staff members can be picked up and dropped into a room where you want them to work in. Handy if they're being their usual slow selves. Besides those, there are a bunch of ways to control the hospital itself. Automatically promoting staff is a simple one that I always use. Rooms can be given high priority status, meaning staff will try to work those rooms before the others. In addition, staff can be restricted to working particular rooms. I personally find the combination of high priority rooms and limiting the room access of certain doctors is the only way to ensure the psychiatrist's office is always staffed. Increasing the number of staff members that are allowed to work a room if they can. Changing whether a room allows both diagnosis and treatment if it can do both. Not to mention a ton of analytical data on the building, budget, personnel and patients to pour over, you know, if you're really into your fine tuning. The point is, there is absolutely no excuse whatsoever for you not having full control of the hospital at all times. Another 10 minutes, sir, and you're done. Why am I on a fucking treadmill if my leg is broken? You're doing fine, sir. Keep going. 
Keep going, he says. He keeps saying shit like that. I've been here for eight hours. I've been through 14 test rooms and still not one person has out. <laughs> There's a wide variety of illnesses to cure, such as verbal diarrhea, patients can't stop talking, mime crisis, perception of objects that don't exist, such as ropes and boxes, metropolism, patients believe that this is what a typical urban lifestyle is like. Mock star. Everyone believes they're Freddie Mercury. And that's just a small sample. When encountering a brand new illness, you realistically have two choices. Build a new treatment room to cure them, or send the patient home. Hey, it's better than having them rage quit or die on hospital grounds. You'll take a hit to your reputation if either of those happen. At the end of the day, this is a capitalist hospital. You only get paid if you treat the patients. I think we may have worked out what your problem is. You appear to have an injured head. No shit. Now, just to be absolutely certain, we're going to send you for one more test. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. I'm out, I'm leaving. I'm going to another hospital. This is bullshit. This is unbelievably bad service. I've been to a fair few hospitals in my time. This. He's absolutely the worst. You're all a bunch of assholes. This is impossibly, embarrassingly stupid. What did I say? All in all, Two Point Hospital is an engaging sim game. It can be a bit repetitive, but the different targets in each location makes you shift your focus, changing how you build your hospital. It doesn't let you see all the locations at the beginning, but there's plenty of levels to go at. 21, if I'm counting correctly. The early ones take about an hour apiece. The later ones, however, take quite a bit longer, depending on how good you are at balancing the needs of everybody. I think I'm going to give Two Point Hospital an 8 out of 10. Honestly, I was veering more towards a 7 at one point, but there are certain levels in it. Because this game includes two DLC packs, there's more of an Arctic type region, and there's a hotel level in particular, which when I ran into that for the first time, I thought, okay, this is different. You don't get paid per patient you cure, you get paid for your cure ratio. So you have to cure as many people as possible and they'll pay your bills. It offers a very different dynamic, different to having every single level, more or less, having different victory conditions, but more or less the same thing each time. So I appreciated that difference. Okay, that'll do. That's Two Point Hospital. What did you think of my video? Leave a like or dislike down below. What did you think of this game? This is actually a, a console port from the PC. So it's technically been out for a while on the PC and I know it doesn't have all the features of that game. So let me know down in the comment section below what you thought. And for those of you who are a glutton for punishment, you can always subscribe or if you want to inflict me on someone else, you can always share. See you next time.
think I may have made this coat a bit tight. <laughs> yes, I did make it. Never made anything with sleeves before. Bloody hell, I got the length right on the first try. <laughs> I thought I got all the hanging threads off of this bloody thing. Obviously not. Oh god, there's another one. What? I thought I... God damn it. I did not do a very good job on this. I'm saying no biggie, I can't. I can't get the watch in underneath the cuff because I made this, made the sleeves too tight. There we go, it's just underneath. 